cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Fight for the Iron Kingdoms as a Warcaster. Take control of the mighty Jax, arcane devices and dark sorceries to bring the fight to the War Machine Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Hey everyone on YouTube! We are massively busy in here this week, getting ready for our Flames War Bootcamp, solving some issues. We were due to get some mats, but the mats aren't going to arrive, so we've been problem solving. And if you're a backstager, you probably would have seen that yesterday because we put a vlog out about creating a whole room full of sanded tables. Yes, all day yesterday we've sitting sanding tables and sorting tables and buying material and getting sand. It's been a busy day, John. It has. Well, yesterday, and it's been just as busy today. So, here's, here's the aftermath. This is like leftover sand that we've just dumped off these tables. I'm not going to go into any great detail because we have a vlog about it. But um, basically, we've put a load of PVA on the tables left to dry overnight with a load of sand on them. And this is the result, which isn't bad. But we're thinking of putting another coat on it because here or there you can see all wee patches. But we're pleased with the results. We've just been using some hardwood. Hardwood? Hardwood. Yeah, some hardwood board. Which is strange, because we've got a few undulations here and there. But actually, some of us kind of like that. We're like, kind of like, oh, it's a bit doony looking. Anyway, today is pushing on with rocks and stuff. Because um, although we have some terrain and stuff in, quite a lot of terrain in, which you'll see during the vlog, or maybe later this week if we're doing another vlog on YouTube, We've got loads of buildings and stuff to go in to make this all look really deserty. What's the what's the location? Come on over here, John. Get involved. What's the location we're building? Uh, El Alamein, pretty much. Yeah, and we're doing this for the Flames of War boot camp this weekend. That's right. Yep. Because Flames of War is going to the desert. Is this the first time or a second time or what? Uh, I believe this is the second time. Yeah. It's, it's been covered in the previous edition, I think. Ooh, and there's new rules and stuff we're going to be using this weekend. There is, yeah. It's like, a, it's like a big launch this weekend for Flames of War, so that's what we're doing, we're getting ready. Probably should have started with that, but we've been so, so busy building this stuff that I got carried away. Mm -hmm. Right, so we have loads of terrain. You can't see it here, probably see it later. But we're building some extra rocks and stuff to put onto our tables. Mm -hmm. uh, just doing this using our... our Upholstery foam? Yeah, our, our, our new method of making rocks out of sponge and stuff. And we have a tutorial about that. I'm contemplating putting that out actually on YouTube this weekend so as you guys at home can can join in and have a look and see how we've gone about creating some of the uh, the rocks and stuff. It's not these particular rocks, but all the techniques in that tutorial are transferred over to yeah, this. Yeah, have been implemented to do this. But it, it's going to get interesting, right? So we've been building all these little scatter pieces. We'll have palm trees and stuff like that. You'll see it later. But we've been building some bigger corner bits. Now, if you see these blue things over here, they're actually going to end up looking like... Hold on, let me grab... Is this a finished bit, John? I think that's a, a close to finished one. It's a close to finished bit. Yep. They're going to end up looking a bit more like this, except we're going to be putting some sand on the top of these. So what do you see how this looks once I get a little bit of sand on that? This is one of our tasks for today, is getting all our rocks finished off. And then tonight, before we go getting sand on top of them so when we come in tomorrow hopefully look something like that which will tie them in nicely with the sand tables we've been doing okay but we've been making big ones i've been at this all day yeah. making these big rocks uh like john mentioned got big sheets of foam in so it looks like this and then it gets all torn up a little bit, but I'm not going to go into great detail. You're looking at the mess there. Yeah, that's what all the little fragments are. Me standing rep, 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 rep. It's quite therapeutical though. Yeah. Rep, rep. <laughs> anyway, now, the interesting part of these is they're not just built to go in the corners. Let me grab, can you grab some more from down there, John? Grab them all just to make sure we have the matching pieces. Okay, so. You can put it in the corner this direction. Let me get rid of that. Ready spray. Okay, so now you've got a, a rock that sticks out. Yeah, you could do that. In fact, 
we could just build this entire table up with rocks. If we put that in that corner, and this in this corner, watch this. This table's going to transform. Okay, so hold on, that's not the right one for that. that can go this way. Okay, so you can have it like that, or I could put this down over there, and put this up here. So now the rocks jut out more into the actual center of the table. These rocky outcroppings. Okay, but they've been made in such a fashion that I can take two that'll go together and I could do this. So I put them together like that. So now our table has two entries on that side and a wide entry on that side. So where's the rest of that? There's another bit of it. Grab that bit. Or I can push this stuff into the middle of the table like this. And hey presto. Now we have a rocky outcrop right in the middle of the table, which would like force everyone to fight in and around this. We could put like a village or something up here. Yeah. This would be really cool. And not only that, then we can take some of the other bits that we've been building and start raising that surface up as well. So you'll notice we've been putting some little rocks and things on this. When we come to do these bigger bits, We'll probably not put as many of these on. Well, we might, because there's still a lot of surface, but what we'll yeah. do is we'll probably just put it around sort of the edges. So if we go to put a bit of terrain on it, we're not sitting like trying to put it on top of rocks and yeah. things. But that's a really cool way, a really modular way of building something up. Even for other games like 40K, that's gonna be awesome. Yep. 40K in the desert using that stuff. Oh, sweet. I am doing that. Maybe not this weekend. But very soon. Right, Jono. Oh, and then we have some other big other big rocks that we've been making that's just just a big bit right in the middle. Mm -hmm. So anything else we want to go over in this particular vlog or are we pushing on with other stuff? I think we'll just have to push on at the minute. Wait, John, you've been working on pools. Oh, I have. Haven't yeah. you? Come yeah. on this way. Let's go and see what John's done. Two. So John, why you're not? Spraying rocks and dry brushing them. What have you been up to? We're working on some of the set down pieces of terrain, so we'll bring them back out here. Okay, yeah. So give me one to go at. Sorry, Lance. <laughs> Just push the camera. So Get out of the way, man. When these when these are new out of the box, it's just one flat colour of blue. Yeah. And they're very matte. So what what I've done is gone in with an airbrush and done a a bit of a darker spot in the middle. I'll just shake this around. So or in this one, gloss. there's two different ones, and then we've done a gloss varnish over it. You know, it's not a huge complication to do that, but it does yeah. make quite a difference to them. Yeah. They look quite sweet, actually, with the with the dark pools and the gloss. Mm -hmm. Right. They stick out like a sore thumb on our on our desert table. They Are do. we going to do anything about that? I believe we're going to be sanding them as well. So the same thing that we're doing to that and the top of the rocks, we'll be sanding up Ooh. around the edges as well. Where's it going on? Well, we have a load of these little things for putting trees and stuff on as well. Yeah. I think no. we're going to be sanding these. They're going to all get the same treatment. Yeah. So. All right. Well, if you're interested in seeing how... What is it again? Hmm? Where are we playing? El Alamein. El Alamein? I'm going to have L. to... L. L. Alamein. El Alamein? No, I'm going to torch I'm, going to... I'm just going to mess that up all weekend. If you're interested to see how our battles uh, take place and, and what happens and what's the result, Come and watch the boot camp this weekend on beastofwar.com. It'll be live blogging Friday, Saturday, and, and Sunday. Sunday. Yep. Oh, it's a hell of a time. It's going to be really busy, and there's going to be tons of armies on the go. There's going to be British. British and Africa Corps, German Africa Corps. Oh, it's going to be really interesting. Join us for the weekend. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe, and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.